Gentlemen, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you both. WBO International, which is absolutely correct. The WBO haven't actively signed this off because whoever wins this fight has got to be made. Now, Roth Parker up on the inside. He's stuck his shoulder in his face. He's trying to stick his forearm. Struggles a little bit close up. Left hand to the body there from Murdoch, as Parker just... It's clever, switches as well. Physically, I was going to say he's the bigger of the two, but actually when you look at them... Yeah, very broad at the shoulders, Parker, and got long arm. Neutral corner, and he got a stoppage win there, the gate, no particular dislocated shoulder. And that was the left. There's not been any up also, so both of them not without their their scars. Yeah, Kate's willing to give an interview all the way during fight week, which can be pretty draining for fighters. Hell it, you have to sell yourself. And Murdoch looking to get busy at the start of the round here. It was clear in the first round that Murdoch's gonna try and out hustle Parker, rough him up on the That's good work from Parker on the inside there, landed two body shots, a nice... Cotto Canelo card back in late 2015, Murdoch. Well, Parker just relaxed there slightly. I think his hand's quite low, and as they both throw lead left hands, neither one really landed. Oh, it was, but there's plenty of others dotted around. Luke Campbell, I've seen here as well. Didn't quite land that can't have right, right hand counter. Sorry, he was, you know, he touched the jab there. Parker. The one defeat for Murdoch came back in his third fight when he was just 18. He was in with a one and zero. Good lead left hook there, just faint the jab with a couple of jabs and then just catches him round the side of the head with the right hand. And is Parker so far at this stage he's having the better of it? Yeah, he's standing his ground and he's relaxed there. He's feeling that the referee is going to call break and, and Murdoch just gives him a little change and he's slipping and dipping and bending at the knees, getting out of the way of the shots. Slightly slow jab there from Parker. Murdoch immediately looked to try and counter it. Parker. Nice double jab that got through. Looking to bring some heat, bring some pressure. He has had some success. Yeah, there's really not, you know, I've given him the first three rounds, but they're close rounds, so, you know, it's a good fight, they're well matched. And swell out in between rounds, a bit of cold steel clamped to his face, just trying back though from Murdoch, and, well, this is catching fire midway through round, doesn't quite realise it, good left hand there from Murdoch, I think he's got an opportunity here, Murdoch, just trying to keep that head on the move, Usher for the jab, and Parker, since that burst in the middle of the round has just gone... Confidence now is growing. ...and win for him, but he's won the round and he's on the board, at least with us, and... ...doesn't seem like... Round five! ...a problem, really. It's not going to obscure his... It's just... ...locking onto each other. No real room to manoeuvre there, so the referee... ...but Parker, and Parker's jab has been good. It's been good to the head, it's been good to the body. He goes up and down. And a good right hand again there from Murdoch. Parker did take the weight back and, and rode the second one to it. Murdoch's got some confidence here, certainly. Yeah, he landed two good right hands, like a double right hand went two to the head. Parker just inching forward with that front foot. He gets the chance, he'll just try and rub the heads together a bit. Busy Murdoch, he has those gloves low, but there's plenty of movement, plenty of switching. Round five. Good operators, and Joseph Parker, Kubrat, Pulev and Alexander round. And I think you, looking at your... Those fight, I think there's a lot in it. Parker started well. Severe pain as well due to that dislocated shoulder. So he knows what it's like to grit it. A tough, grueling fight, just leaning on there, Parker on the ropes. But Murdoch was probably struggling a little bit. Again, close rounds, but I just felt you're trying to get a bit more momentum back in his way, trying to shift things back in his favour. And he's standing in the middle. He saw him feel for it. I think he was worried there might have been a bit of blood. But Parker... Double jab right hand, oh, good right hand there. From, and a good body shot. Round seven. It's this. 
should get the opportunity. Oh, head movement, not a oh, good one right from Parker. Just fainted the jab, left hook, right. Stiff jab though there from Parker. Yeah, as I say, they're very much mirroring each other. Parker Southpaw now again just manages to get through. Better, nice upper body movement too, slipping and sliding good here. And Parker shoots that jab from the hip, shoots it up, and every now and then he'll just faint the jab. That's tough as that, but these will be having an effect, particularly as we head into the later. When he faints the jab and he turns it into a left hook, I think there's more variety. Uh, he's less predictable here. That sharpness up, Parker, if he lets it drop, Murdoch will keep walking forward, keep what they can do, and, and he landed it perfectly. Yeah, and I think it's so good with it in that round. Now he has to keep that pressure up when you get onto the. Nice combination there for Parker, right hand, left hook, right hand. Again, looking for that left hook, right hand. Jab of Parker, but Parker's seen it coming and just rode the shot deep behind the shoulder. Roach should the wild card. This has been, for the most part, a happy hunting ground. I wonder is Murdoch going to be more aggressive here now? I've got him falling behind on my card, six rounds to two, and you know, really up things here, Murdoch. I think if he stays, just swapping jabs and Gishu here and try and step it up here. I'm looking for the one two there, Murdoch. Definitely more urgency now from Murdoch. When the jab comes back from Parker, he's going to look to try and counter over the top. Murdoch. Tick more than anything else. He just can't seem to help doing it. I don't think super featherweight, but we've got three left here in this 12 round. Izzy, he worked that little bit harder, didn't wait quite so long. and. And probably won the round. And Murdoch, he was prepared to take more chances. He was busy with the jab and he had a good round. There was a nice right hand there. I'd seen bring the right hook over the top as well after that. Just stepping out with that. Puzzle in the last round and now Parker goes out here, gives him another look, gives him a different look and he comes up there. Slight grimace there. Good work here again from Parker. Murdoch looks to pitch back in with a right an angle and Murdoch just looking to time up a little bit if he can but Parker's finding some is feeling these and I think you'll be quite glad to hear this well interesting that at the start of the fight their plan really was to get this up close desire here of Murdoch and he obviously does have ability too but Parker off the forearm in and the shoulder in and rough him up and there were, there were rounds when he was jabbing really well and the last round in particular was a strong round from him and it was a great response from the previous round where got on top here I feel well that left hand from Parker well delivered just right hand back and at times the fight's been like that you know it's one one of the one guy will come back with a good traps and a real thinking man's fight here less predictable and he's just been for me a step ahead of Murdoch, who's put and Parker then collects him with a left two and the right goes straight down the middle. And that's a huge right at the end of the round. The referee, as I said, is looking right into the eye. Yeah. Yeah. Referee Phil Edwards calls on WBO International Super Middleweight Champion.